Today we're going to look at a stamp set uh, called Bird Banter and I really like this. This is in the new Spring Summer catalogue which is this one here and this was one of the first sets that caught my eye. Um, it's got little kind of uh, words in there that are appropriate to the birds so something like um, just a little toucan of my appreciation <laughs> which I've done this one here you can see. And it's got these really cute little um, budgery gars. And we've got um, a little birdie told me it was your birthday. And then they've also got, obviously, it wasn't an early bird. So that's him. You're doing a, a late birthday card. And it's got little bits and pieces on here, little flowers and leaves and even a little birthday hat. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make a little card with this today. I'm going to start off with my background piece and just to decorate the background um, with a little heart. And I'm using uh, Pear Pizzazz cardstock and ink and just doing a little bit of um, random stamping all over. And just building up a bit of a background so we haven't got plain card. And then I'm going to have a layer of, um, this is Cherry Cobbler on here. And I'll put that quite close to the edge there. And then we're going to stamp our bird on to the Whisper White. So I'm going to go ahead first of all and stamp the leaf. I did this a little bit low last time, so I'm coming a little bit further up. That looks better. Uh, let's take our parrot and pop him on. Yeah, I cropped his tail off last time because I hadn't gone low enough on the on the branch. And the reason I'm using Memento is I'm going to colour in with the lovely Stampin' Blends. And as I, you can see where I went wrong last time. Um, there you go. There's our little there's our little budgery girl. And I'm going to go ahead and colour in with the blends to his beak with some pumpkin pie. This is the dark pumpkin pie. Let's look at his beak as well. The buttery gar I'm doing in pool party. And I've gone in all over with the light and then just do a little bit of shading with the darker colour. Just add a little bit of colour to the branch that they're standing on. And I'm going to use the cherry cobbler for his tail. Just going in with the darker one and I think I'll do his wing as well. And the light daffodil delight, and then the darker one for his face, and a bit of definition again. And that gives us a nice, vibrant colour for our little birdies, which we're going to pop on. Now before I actually stick that on, there's something else I want to add and I want to add something um, that I'm going to make with a set of dies called the Celebrate You Thinlets. Now these are in the Celebration catalogue. Now normally we have smaller items like a little stamp set which you get for free with a £45 order but sometimes people get a bit excited about what's in the catalogue and they might spend 90 and if they do they can choose and you can indeed choose. Um, to get a set of dies, which is quite an unusual thing. So let's bring in the big shot. And these dies will cut out the words, Celebrate Amazing You. I think for what I can fit onto this card, I'm just going to go for Celebrate You. And I'm going to cut that out in the 
Daffodil Delight. And these are beautifully well behaved. They pop out very easily, as you can see. So a little celebrate and you. There we go. And just to show you, I'm not going to use the Amazing today. And let's just put that up against the green so you can see it. So that's really delicate. Very pretty. And I have pre-cut another set of these because what I found works really nicely um, with these, le these uh, words is to layer them up. Now you can either go yellow on red there and it just gives you this really 3D look or red on yellow which is what I'm going to do this time. I'll start off sticking my yellow and I'm going to use just tiny dots of um, Tombow Multi Adhesive to stick this. You could use the fine tip glue if you prefer that but Tombow is my favourite so I'm going for that. So I'm going to stick the Celebrate on first and then go back then with the red one And I'm just going to offset that just slightly to the left and up. Just make sure on all the letters that I'm actually following the original piece that I've stuck on. And can you see it gives it a really good kind of 3D effect. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting my, um, my birdie on. And I'm going to trim that just a little bit. So he's now two and a quarter by three inches. That's why I didn't want to stick him on first because I wanted to see how much space I had here. And then we're going to pop the little U up. And just the same thing again. Have the U first in yellow. And then just slightly offset in red. And there you go. And you can see how those letters really step that card up. Now you could just stamp a greeting on there and that would, that would be pretty. Now as I have with these, I've added a little bit of ribbon on this one and a little bit of uh, washi tape on that one. So... Tell me which one you prefer. Do you like the one with the fancy letters? I really do. And have a little look in the catalogue at Bird Banter. And if you would like to buy it from me, if you pop down to the bottom below this video, you will see um, a link to my shop. Thanks very much for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. La, 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 la.